All right, so what is definitely not the third time I've done this, uh, we're going into fall 19. Uh, plan as always is to get some kegs. Um, I'm gonna have the quest for to give Pam a battery today, so we wanna do that. Gotta replant some pumpkins. I'm also gonna upgrade my pickaxe because tomorrow is wedding day. Uh, and I think it's one of those days where you go to the wedding and then um, it spawns you back at the farm like late at night or something, potentially. Either way, I'm going to upgrade my pickaxe. I'm just going to make mining a bit easier. Hopefully it's worth doing. I don't even know. I have some extra iridium bars, so I could give it a shot. Um, yeah. Where'd the sound go? There it goes. If nothing else, I'll have, a, I'll have an iridium pickaxe for my next Gulk Heaven run, which is in a couple of days. Um, yeah, so that's the plan. We're going to do the pickaxe first. Um, and we'll give Pam a battery and replant some pumpkins and everything else. Now, here's the thing. It is Friday in the game. Which means Clint is not at the, the, whatchamacallit, uh, fortune teller says, good luck. So Clint's not actually going to be at his place today, um, except he is going to be at his place today because I have the key to the city now. So, uh, I can, I can get in there right now. And if I get there before whatever time, at 8 or 9 o'clock or whatever, I'll be good. So we built this city. So I'm going to grab take all my geodes as well and get those dealt with. And we're going to go see Clint first thing with some triple shot espresso. Pam needs juice. All right. That will do later. So yeah, we're going we're gonna to go see Clint right now. Crack all these geodes. And, uh, ooh, blackberry. Crack all these geodes and upgrade my pickaxe. And there he is. All right, so what do we have here? Let's look at the predictor. Look for geodes. If I can get any iridium, I definitely want to. Um, so I can get iridium ore right there with the golden coconut. So I want to crack one, two, three, four of anything. And then crack. Maybe some ore would be nice. So maybe I'll just. So what do I have right now? I've got uh, mostly frozen. So we're gonna crack one, two, three. Where's where is it? Iridium ore right here. One, two, three, four. Then the coconut. All right. So one, two, three. Four. Coconut. That's five iridium ore. And then we're going to go... Some iron ore here. Iridium ore. Copper ore. Actually, I might just crack two... Uh, oh, it doesn't matter. If I crack a frozen and then a magma, I think is the plan now. So frozen. And then a magma to get some more iron. And then, do I see any other iridium? I don't think it matters. Do I see any coal? I get coal no matter what. Um, one more iron ore there. I could do that, I guess. So I just cracked an iron. So I'll just crack frozens for a while. Until I get five stone. Ah, okay, there we go. So we're going to crack frozen geodes until we get five stone. So we can get ten stone three stone, five stone, and then we crack another golden coconut to get five ready more. All right. So, frozen. We're going to see ten stone here sometime. There's ten. Then we're going to see three stone. There's three stone. Then we're going to see five stone. There's some coal, excellent. It should be here. There's five stone. Bang. Five iridium ore. Uh, then what? Then we've got six iridium ore right here. So we need to crack one, two... Uh, no, hold on. Gold ore, six iridium. So let's do... I'd rather have the coal, though. So let's just crack... Let's just crack two frozen. So i got lots of frozen still. This should give us a bit more coal. 
three more coal. Then we're going to crack. We just got three coal from that. We want to get the six iridium ore from the magma geode. So we want to crack one, two, and then a magma. So there's one. There's two. And there's a magma. Okay. Um, there's that. Okay, now... Anything else interesting in the coconuts? We got five already more quite a ways down. Five already more right there. So we'll grab that. Uh, in the meantime, there's one iridium ore there. Not seeing it. There's one coal there. Coal might be worth it, actually. So... There's iron ore that I can get no matter what. So let's keep cracking until we get to... Let's crack frozen so we get to the ancient drum. I guess. Oh, you know, I can't get that coal anyways. Yeah. So let's crack frozen geodes so we get to the ancient drum. And then we crack... Um... Oh, that's not right. Okay, we're going to get one gold... Okay, we're going to crack frozen geodes. We're going to get one gold ore. Then we crack one more. And then we crack a golden coconut. All right. We're going to get one gold ore. That's what we're looking for. That is the, the thing we're looking for. Because I don't know what all these stones look like and what they are and stuff. There's three copper. I think that's opal, isn't it? Yeah. There's one gold ore. Opal, one gold ore. So one more. We're going to crack an eight or night. And then we crack a golden coconut. So we crack one of these... And we crack that. That's going to give us five more iridium. Sweet. Uh, anything, any more, anything interesting? Not really. We're going to get iron ore no matter what. Nothing else I care about there. Here. Ah, there's five iridium ore right there. So we're going to crack until we get... What did I just get? I just got five iridium ore. So we're going to crack one, two, three, four, five... And then another golden coconut. So, one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Coconut. Beautiful. Alright, my inventory is quite full. Uh, let me sell some stuff. Great. Okay, so we got that iridium ore right there. Um, now we want to crack one of anything and then crack two golden coconuts, apparently. So let's crack... Still have lots of frozen, so one of those. And then we're going to pop two of these guys. Stacking that iridium. So we're here now. Um... No more iridium until we get way down there. I don't even think I have that many geodes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I totally do. I totally do. Okay, so... Let's crack 14. I guess, yeah. Let's just go... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then two golden coconuts. All right, let's do it. One, two, three, hope I have the inventory space for all this, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 1, 2. Sweet. Okay, so that puts us down to there. So now we're on the next page. So crack one of whatever and then another golden coconut. One of you. 
one of you. Um, did I, I didn't miss any iridium with the magmas, did I? No, okay. So we just got this one now. Uh, how many do I have left? 17. I see five iridium more down there. I see five down there. I might be able to get a, more. So, I mean, what are we talking about? We're talking about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then one, and then one, two, three, four, five, and then one. Eight, then five. So, let me sell some stuff first, actually. Okay. I have an artifact trove. A pearl. What have I been missing with these artifact troves? Hope I didn't miss like a prismatic shard or something. There is a pearl here though, so let's grab let's grab a pearl. How many artifact troves do I have? Just the one? Okay, let's do that. So we're gonna do Where am I at right now? Uh oh. Did I lose my spot? No, I think I just did those two maybe? I think. Yeah, it must be. It must be. Cause we got one. Okay, let me crack uh let me crack a magma and see if I get basalt. Process geodes. What is that? That's three copper ore. So I must be here. So it should be Helvite. Okay, that makes sense, yeah. So Helvite, okay, let me crack another one of these guys. I should get a Helvite now. Is that what that is? Yes, okay, sweet. So Helvite, and then we're gonna do Basalt, one of those, and then we'll crack the artifact trove. Grab a pearl. Nice. Okay, so we're here. So we need to crack one, two, three. Ooh, a treasure chest. Did not think about that. Pearls worth twenty-five hundred twelve. Ooh, that was that was an expensive mistake. Uh, okay, so that was yeah, that was that was a pricey mistake. Uh, so we're gonna crack one, two, three, four, and then crack and uh, crack a golden coconut. So perfect, we got four magma, so one, two, three, four, golden coconut, give us five iridium, right here, and then one, two, three, four, five, and then another golden coconut, one, two, three, Four, five, my last golden coconut. Nice. Okay, so that's good. Um, I may as well just crack the rest of these just to get them cracked, I guess. Or should I? How many do I have? Five? What am I going to get here? Is it worth doing? Maybe not. Very stone. Ooh, ten coal, though. That would be worth doing. Yeah, let's just crack the rest of them. Let's just do this. Okay, like I say, this was a money-making venture in the end because obviously, you know, you sell the stuff you're gonna sell for more than it costs to crack these geodes open, so. Well worth it in the end. Even if it's not entirely optimal. All right, now upgrade my pickaxe, if you please. All right. <laughs> now, I don't think I would have uh, made enough money to deal with that. I don't think I would have made enough to... Uh, to make up for everything I just lost. I don't think I've made enough selling those um, various things. Um... to uh, pay, pay to upgrade the pickaxe, but that's okay. That's okay. You know what? It's all good. All right, let's do some farming. <laughs> so now that's all done. Uh, let's do some farming. Let me sell a couple things first. Sell the pearl, sell the clay, plum, blackberry. Okay. Um, let's put the scythe up there. I'm probably not going to be doing any mining anytime soon, so... 
Well, let's go my inventory and organize too a little bit. Let's get things cleaned out. So that can get put away. And that's it. All right, so let's move this stuff down here. I just don't need to have all this hardwood on me. Put it away. Um, all right, let's put that there. Because why not? And I think we're good. So let's replant some pumpkins. We do have some pumpkins that are ready. Um, I'm grab these guys. Okay. Let's do that, do that, grab that. All right, let's replant all this again. I mean, not again, this is because this is the first time, obviously. I wonder if, if you get, if I were to use something that had a farming buff on it, if that would uh, make like harvesting and replanting a bit faster or a bit easier or something. I actually don't know what the farming buff does. You'd think I would by now, but I don't. I should figure that out, because that might be useful later in my life, because obviously this is one of the last harvests and replant. In fact, this is my last planting. I'm not planting anything, anything more after this. Am I? Because... No, everything else is going to be done end of the month. So yeah, there's, this is my last, uh, I mean, there'll be some stuff in the greenhouse, I guess. But am I planting anything else outside? No, I mean, well, Ginger Island, I guess, yeah. Nothing on the farm, though, I guess. So yeah, there's no more planting, assuming we have a very specific, uh, very specific con conditions based on that statement. All right. Oh, missed a spot, there we go. There's other spot. Another spot. Yike. Gotta make sure I don't miss these spots. I don't wanna... Every spot I miss is, is like... How many... How much gold is it? A lot. Whatever it is, it's a lot of it. It's whatever a pumpkin wine is. Or a pumpkin juice. spots. Hey, you know what? Now is the time to catch them. It's okay to miss them now. It's not okay to... Well, I mean, literally, if anything I miss today, I there's no way for me to make up the lot. There's no one right there. No way for me to make it up if I miss it today. So, I might actually check in with the farm computer and see... Wow, there's a loud vehicle going by outside. I might check in with the farm computer and see... Um, see what's going on with that. to make sure I haven't missed any spots. Doesn't look too bad from what I can see right here. I think I've got everything. Hopefully that's correct. So I'm going to be without my pickaxe for a couple days, and actually, that may not have been smart. Uh, actually, no, it might be okay. It might be okay, because I have lots of bars right now. And I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get, you know, I've got like 70-some bars of each copper and, uh, and iron. And I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get 70 oak resin in the next three days. So, as nice as that would be, I don't think that's going to happen. Alright, screenshot time.
I'll use the farm computer to verify, but I'll grab a screenshot. So we got those eight right there. Anything down here that looks like I missed? <clears throat> All looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Hopefully I didn't miss any. If I did, oh well. Nothing, you can, nothing I can do about it now. All right, so that's all done. Let's uh, let's cut down some trees. We do have a couple of oak resin that we need for kegs. Inventory is looking good. Is that a raccoon figure? Yes, it is. That is a raccoon scarecrow. And this scarecrow is a, uh, is a scarecrow of the dwarf, dwarf character, the one way up here in the corner. That's a, a, a scarecrow of the dwarf character in the game. Oops. Can I reach that tree? Yeah, I can. Oh dear. I almost cut down a sapling. That would have been bad. Oh, I do want to cut down this sapling, I think. We'll go with that one. Glad that fell the right way. Okay. That one. That fall that one the other way. Definitely want to fall this one to the left if I can. Lovely. This one to the left. Don't have a pickaxe, I can't break that rock. Um, hopefully this falls to the right. And we'll fall this one. I'm gonna fall this one to the right. My, uh, my magnetism is good enough that it should be fine. Unless this stuff despawns. Oh, nope, not all of it. Great, okay, um, so now I can make a couple of kegs, like so. Uh, let's head to, oh, let's just drink another triple shot. And let's head back up to the mine. I think I'd put, um, I think I put copper in, didn't I? Probably shouldn't have done that. Probably should have put in iron or something, but I won't. Oh, Pam, uh, let's give Pam a battery. There we go. There's 400 gold. I'll take it. I did, did put in copper. Let's put in some iron now. A bit more time to do other stuff. So yeah, I've got like 76 and 77 of iron and uh, copper bars. So I'm not too worried about that. Let's go back to the bus stop. We're gonna head back to the house. At some point I should probably check the train station as well. Um, I feel like I should probably do that to see if there are any more trees I can cut down and replant or whatever. Let me grab some of those. Uh, let me sell some stuff too, actually. Sell you, sell you, sell you, and you. Um, I don't know if I'm going to need these 34 pumpkin seeds anymore. I'll hang on to them for now. Well, is there any point? Probably not. I may as well just sell them. Because I'm not planting any more pumpkin seeds. Yeah, I may as well just sell them, I guess. Okay, let's put this uh, heavy tapper down. Let's grab these truffles as well on here. There's a tree up here, I'm pretty sure, that does not have a tapper on it. Where is it? Um, is it one of these guys? No. Is it one of these? Maybe this one? That one? No. I thought there was a tree somewhere that didn't have a tapper on it. There it is, sweet. Okay, uh, that's good. So, let's go deal with the house stuff. Let's get some kegs reorganized. Or not kegs reorganized, the kegs put down, refilled. I think there's some kegs up there that are done. Yes, there are. So let me grab some star fruit. I was gonna go to the greenhouse first, which I did not do.
Alright, let's get this star fruit replanted. I'm gonna need to buy more star fruit soon, I think. Well, I definitely am. Actually, yeah, I definitely am. Um, because isn't star fruit done on the 21st? Is that what my note said? Yeah, so I should... If today is going to be a write-off, I need to... Or if tomorrow is going to be a write-off because of the wedding event, I'm going to need to go to the ginger to the desert today and buy 600 and some odd star fruit. Yeah, I'll probably do that next, I think. Okay. So, oh, I should leave the star fruit in here, though. Uh, okay, so I've got 82 left in there. It's not enough. I think it's not, my number is 92, 96. What's my number? Uh, so it's 120 minus um, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. What? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So it's 120 minus 24 is 96. Minus 24 is 96. Minus another 4 is 92. Minus 1 is 91. So I need to have 91 in here to replant. So I need another 10 in here at least. Because this is good. I mean, I have like hyped live, like deluxe speed grow or something in there. So I need at least 10 for there. Um, and then 600 and some odd. Starfruit for Ginger Island. So I need to buy. How much do I buy in here? 400, 500, 610. That should be for Ginger Island. Let's buy like 625 or something. That should be enough to replant all of Ginger Island and. Uh, Should be enough to replant all of Ginger Island and have enough to go one more round in the um, to go one more round in the thing with the stuff. Greenhouse. Grab this stuff because why not waste time? I mean, let's cut down these trees too, actually, because wood is at a premium right now. Oops, missed it. wood there. That's alright. Better than nothing. Okay. Uh, quick check here. Friday. Ooh, I should have gone to the d desert trader on Thursday. Oh well, next time. Um, anything I want to leave here? I don't think so. Let's head back to the house. Oh, I can grab this coconut though. What's this? Is this worth... Ooh, yes it is. Uh, let's get rid of the clay. Yeah, totally worth it. Okay, back to the house. Just wanted to see what half of that value was. So apparently it's sell for 550 or something. It sells for 225 in my gold trash can, so it should sell for 550 in the shipping bin. So let's go do that right now. I gave Pan the battery, right? Yeah, I think I did. Okay, 4.50 p.m. We do want to head up to the train station and deal with some trees. Another loud vehicle going by. So let's sell that and that and all of those. And that. So we got 500 wood, so that's not too bad. Let's sell the apples. Okay, let's head inside the house, deal with some inventory. Stack all that. Although, yeah, I'll keep that star fruit with me. We'll throw those in there. One of those in there. This star fruit, I might just take it to Ginger Island and leave it there so I don't have to worry about it. That might be the play. Because why not, right? Like. Does it matter? Does it matter? I'm not sure if it matters. Uh, you know what? It kind of does matter. Because I need to give Maru a gift. I need to start gift, like, gifting Maru every day. I need to make sure I, you know, I'm talking to her and hugging her and giving her gifts every day. So we can get that friendship up, so I can get that, uh... Get that star drop. 
Um, so, I'm going to leave that starfruit wine there. I'm going to throw it in casks. Once I get to 33, because I think I have 33 casks, uh, I will throw the starfruit wine in the casks. Got time um, for that. So I'll get to gold quality before the end of the year, which is great. Um, okay, so I think we're ready to go to the mine. We'll refill the um, watchman columns. The other problem is I can't buy any coal either. That's That could be bad. That could be very bad. Maybe I won't smelt any more iron or copper just to save time. This stuff takes longer, and I'm gonna need a couple days before I can even buy coal again. Um, do I need any iridium? I need one iridium bar for something. What do I need an iridium bar for? Oh, staff for a quest. Okay, that's fine. I think I have a written iridium bar set aside somewhere, but I don't need any ore, is the point. So let's get these guys smelting. There goes 10 of my copper, or my coal, rather. Um, put the gold in there. Okay, let's... Oh, I forgot to make the triple shot. Oh, well. Let's head over to the train station, see if we can cut down some trees. There's Leo. What up, Leo? Not even gonna bother talking to you, because I already maxed your friendship out. Alright. What do you got for me? Oh, we got one up here. Let me just do this, maybe. Okay, tell you what, let's do this instead. Let's do that, and then do that. That way I have access to my hoe to dig stuff like that up. Hey, we got some copper ore, nice. Plant that. Oh, triple shot. Oops. Uh, yep, we're good. Hey, we got a hazelnut, too. Cut down this tree here. Okay, is there anything else? Oh, we got a couple. Oh, we got three trees there. Nice. Trying to use my keyboard effectively here. Between things. Okay, can I get the timing wrong? Oh, we got four more oak. Four, that, wow, words. Wow, ooh, we got four more oak resin. Say that fast six times. Okay, awesome. Four more, four more orc. Uh, that means I can make. Four more kegs. I have enough of everything else. So let's go... Well, we'll, just walk back to, we'll just walk back to the house. Now, I don't know if I need any more hazelnuts. I might have... Well, I'm sure, actually, I have enough hazelnuts to make all of the gifts I need for Kent. Um... Let me just confirm that fact. And my iridium bars in there too. Oh. Maybe not. Do I have something else as a gift for Kent? I don't know. Hold on a second. Um Kent. Where is he at? There he is. What else does he love? He loves fiddlehead risotto, roasted hazelnuts. And then golden pumpkin, prismatic, rabbit's foot, whatever else. Whoops. <laughs> that's good to know. Let me just make a... Uh, you know what? Maybe I have some outside. Maybe that's what it is. Is that what they are? Let me put these kegs down first. And let me take some star fruit to put in the kegs. And then we will ascertain the situation with gifting Kent. Don't think I did that optimally, but that's okay. It'll do. Well, that's good. We got, what, six more kegs today? Got a bunch of kegs refilled. <coughs> um, let me just look out here. 
This chest is empty now, though. Yeah, so I didn't have as much stuff as I thought I had for Kent. Oh, dear. That's not great. That's not great at all. I don't have to have a Fiddlehead Mozoto in here somewhere, do I? I do not. Okay, well, let's throw the... Um, Starfruit seeds back in here. I'm going to put 90... Well, I'll put a little lower, a little more than what I need. So I know I need 600 and something for Ginger Island. Can't remember what that something is, but... Uh, so let's actually take the seeds to Ginger Island right now, so I don't forget. I will come back and we'll start the days on... Um, uh, in on the farm. Because we, again, we need to make sure that we're gifting... Maru every day. There we go. I have a bunch of spicy eel there too. I don't think I need all that spicy eel here. I might take this back to take to the desert. Oh, we got one star food done. Uh, yeah, that might be the play there, I think. Uh, in fact, let's go to the desert. Just because why not? I got a bit of time. Cut on all the trees. I mean, I guess I could wander down into Cinder Sap and see if there are some trees to cut down. So I've got 32 spicy eel. Yike. Um, okay, so. I think we're generally good. We are starting to make some money now. This is, uh, this is good. It's just, we're not making enough. This is bad. So, I guess let's sell a couple things and then we could go into Cinder Sap and just burn through whatever energy I have. Uh, maybe I'll check the mine again, though. Let me just do that. So, my pickaxe should be ready on Sunday. Right? Yeah, I think it should be Sunday. So, that stuff's still going. It's fine. All right, let's uh, let's do this. Let's go back to. I really wish I had the return scepter. Um, something I will not be able to afford this run. Let's go here. Let me finally make this triple shot that I kept forgetting to make. There we go. And let's go down into Cinder Sap and just see what trees we can find to cut down. Let's cut down trees until we're out of energy. Right, let's go all the way south and then work our way back up. Ooh, bubbles. All right. Where did I see these trees? Here are a couple of them. Eleven thirty. Do you have to keep a bit of an eye on the time? Bit of an eye on the time, so I don't get caught out. Should be okay though. How long is my triple shot gonna last? 30 seconds? Yeah, should be enough. There were six trees. How many have I cut down? I think I counted six when I looked at the screenshot. The last time I looked at the screenshot. Grab another one just to be safe. Okay, so, very difficult to see, but, I don't think I can get to that one. So there's one, i got to stay on the south side of the pond, there's one right there, and then one up at the entrance of the farm. All right. Down the south side. Okay, and then we just head this way. Somewhere up here. There it is. All right. That's pretty good. Triple shot just ran out. That's okay. We'll have time to go sell some stuff. And go to bed and we will get married. So let's sell those and sell the sap. Looks good. 
Anything else I want to do with inventory wise? Yep, I can throw those in there. And I would say we are good. Although I will throw another truffle in. Just gonna sell this truffle of truffle oil real quick. Okay, here we go. For only the second time in my Stardew career, I'm about to get married. Nine thousand, not bad. I mean, most of it was was that pearl, but oh yeah, the golden mass sells for five. Oh, so I'm getting interesting. So I thought that the golden trash can, if you throw something out in the golden trash can, you would get trash can, you would get half the value of what it normally is, but. Oh, did it say two, maybe it said, I thought it said 225, but I don't know. Either way, um, yeah, we made some money. Great, good, great. Okay. Should be wedding day. Do we go straight to the wedding? Looks like it. All right. Look at me getting married. When Paul first arrived in Pelican Town, no one knew if he'd fit in with our community. But from this day forward, Paul is going to be as much a part of this town as any of us. It's my great honor on this day 20 of fall to unite Paul and Maru in the bonds of marriage. Get ready to smash. Well, let's get right to it. And is Leo here, by the way? Paul, Maru, I'm just going to see... I want to see if Leo's here. As mayor of Pelican Town and the regional bearer of the matrimonial seal, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss. I don't see Leo anywhere. The dwarf's there, though. But no Krobus, interestingly. Okay, well, Maru and I are married. Life is going to be different from now on, but the future looks bright. Okay, so now I should have, as soon as this is over, there's Maru. Little uh, kissy. Uh, oh, no, it just puts me at 6 a.m. Huh. Go figure. All right, well, let me go get Maru a diamond. Because now if I look at the friendship with Maru, we have our 14 hearts ready to go. Open till soil one. I'm not sure where that is. Anyways. Uh, so let's give Maru an diamond. I'll throw another truffle in here as well. All right. So every day, make sure we give her a gift. Make sure we talk and everything. Make sure everything's all good. All right. Gus sent me a spaghetti. Thank you, Gus. Let's drink a triple shot. So I guess I was anticipating this day being a, being a complete write-off, but um, I guess it's not, so... I mean, let's uh, do some stuff. Let's grab all this. Ooh, look at all the oak resin. Yes. Beautiful. Look at all this stuff. Oh, it's a, it's a, good, thing I, it's a good thing I got all that wood yesterday, actually. I should have brought my scythe. I should just cut down all this hay. I should have brought my scythe with me. Oh well, whatever. All right, so let's replant some star fruitses. I don't know, if I had left yesterday, star fruitses, we would have been everything would have been synced up. That's okay. As long as we're getting stuff, that's all that matters. We just need as much star fruit as we can get our hands on here. And then, um, I guess I'll just go and... Well, I'll try to make sure I have enough wood for 18. How many kegs can I make? Oh, I can make all 18. Sweet. Let's get 18 kegs going. Grab all those. All right. So, if we check in here, we've got a few more. Another orange. We've got, we got like two oranges back to back in here. That's awesome. That doesn't, it doesn't happen to me very often. I think Gus loves oranges or something, so it's like 
Anytime I can get an orange is great. Okay. Uh, inventory is chock full of stuff. Let's sell some stuff first. Oh, she's got a little machine up there. Mara does now. Sell, 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 sell. And sell the pine tar and sell the clay. And sell the truffle oil, sell the bone fragments. I think we're good. Should probably go to the mine as well, actually. Get some more iridium going back to do that any old time. Uh, all right, let's throw some coffee beans in. What do we have for coffee beans? That makes 85. Drop one of those in there, two of those there. Get this coffee going. And actually, you know what? What I might just do, because I can, let's get all this coffee done in one go. So let's make all 18 of these kegs. <laughs> I'm burning through so much wood. I'm down to 182 wood now. Oh my word. I need so much wood. Okay, and then we're just gonna throw in... I shouldn't put it on this side, but it's okay. Throw in all those. Grab some star fruits. Just put, I need to grab like three more star fruit. Oh, no, I don't. I need to grab two more star fruit because... Hmm. Whoops. I should have put the mead up here, and I didn't. Oh, well. Uh, how many more star fruit? Three, I guess? Well, these, these, this coffee won't take long. I'll put the mead in there once... Uh, put the honey in there once those ones are done. Okay, great. So that's all good. Drop all that in there. Spaghetti is just regular food. There's no buffs or anything. So the starfruit seeds need to go in the greenhouse. The honey can go in these kegs out here once they're done. Um, does, I wonder if a marriage day changes the luck. Neutral luck. Is that like a bad omen for a wedding? Uh, okay, so let's throw the starfruit seeds in the greenhouse. And all I can really do today is get, try to get more wood. So let's um, hop down to Cinder Sap again, make sure nothing exciting that I'm missing. Screenshot. Anything going on here? Uh, there's one tree there. Oh, one, two, three trees. You know, it's a long way to walk for three trees, but I need so much wood right now, I think I'm going to do it. Let's just go this way. I really hope upgrading the pickaxe was worth doing this late in the game. I mean, it will save me a little bit of time, and I will have to do, or will probably do, some more Skull Cavern runs. Hey, what's up, Arctic Wolf? How you doing? I'm not doing too bad. Um... Let's see here. Actually, I was, you know, I keep thinking that maybe I'll have to skip days toward the end of this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. I might have to just have to do skull cavern runs. There are more trees that I can chop down. Because, I mean, if I'm going to be short on cash, it's going to be the only way I can make more. CBC has a show on being deaf. It's too funny. Oh, yeah. Uh, this way. Let's keep cutting these trees down. Lost a bit there, that's alright. Uh, has people laughing at their disability? I'm deaf too. Oh, there you go. Hey, you know what? If you can't laugh at it, have a sense of humor about it. It's just better to have a sense of humor about it. That's my opinion anyways. Lean into it. Oh, we got some more diamonds. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do that. And that. 
Okay, uh, I've got a couple more diamonds for Mahara. That's excellent. Let me throw the mead in those and grab all this. They have cards in our reading and are really acute and cute. Uh, truffle. Last truffle again. We're, we're getting down to it here. We're, we are uh, really getting to the point where things are either going to go very well or very badly. Um, I guess I can go check the train station again. I mean, as well, nothing else I can do today. Do I just skip ahead? Do I just skip this day? What else can I do today? I can't get any more ore or anything, not without buying it, which I don't want to do. Um, what else can I even do? I mean, I guess I could just scan around. I mean, I could just go around the map and cut on every tree I find, I guess. I could do that. Yeah, we will just do that. Cut down every tree that isn't... <laughs> cut down everything that isn't nailed down. And even some stuff that is. I can eat the spaghetti I have on me. If only I could get to those trees. Unfortunately, I've already cut down most of the trees that are on the map, so I don't really know... where else there would be trees. CBC is running a series of shows regarding this ability that's really well done. Nice, that's awesome. It's, it's always good to see that. It's always good to see, like... I never understood how important just plain old representation is. Actually, I need to grab these hazelnuts, too. Um, I never just understood how important representation is, because... I mean, I was never really represented very much. People that look like me weren't really represented. Um, but yeah, I never really understood how important representation is, so it's, I'm all for it. I'm all about it. Lost a lot of stuff there, that's alright. We know CBC are good at shows. They do make some good shows. We barely grabbed any of that. That's okay, we got a few uh, hazelnuts from it, so it's all good. Uh, okay, let's head back up to the train station, see if we can find some more trees. See if we can cut down some more stuff. And then, where else would there even be a tree? Ginger Island. I can go to Ginger Island and cut down some stuff. this, I think, and I put it there. So, the, I think the question we all have to ask ourselves is, how did that marriage ceremony work? Because you get married during the day, then you go back to the farm at 6 a.m. So, like, when did you actually... How does that work? One woman says her wife plays drums and she can feel the beat, another woman says she feels she, she felt the beat on a table. I've heard of that before. I've heard, like, especially with, um, with, like, um, deaf athletes and stuff, how they have to, like, basically do things that I saw one, I mean, years and years ago, I saw something about how, um, in order for these deaf athletes to be able to hear what was going on in a football game, they had a massive, like, a massive drum, essentially, that they would bang to kind of let the deaf athletes know what was going on. I cannot cut down trees in the town, I don't think. I don't think I can. Let's go home and deal with some inventory, then we'll head over to, to Ginger Island. Cut down whatever we find. They ask them if they can dance, and they say washing, washing windows routine. What's interesting is, what I, what I find interesting anyways, is hearing... Um, I saw a, Actually, I saw a video not long ago where... Um, this lady got, you know, I don't know if it was cochlear implants or what it was, but anyway, she got something to that enabled her to hear. And she was like, this is what I sound like? <laughs> like, I sound like this? So that was kind of like, it was kind of like stuff you don't think about, right? Like, you don't realize how much of what you say, if all you can do is read lips, yeah, you're not going to be able to, you're not going to know what 
how to enunciate certain things, right? It's just like stuff you don't think about if you can hear. They're absolutely amazing these people and their attitudes. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Um, all right, let's get to throw some stuff in. What words? Let's throw some stuff in the house, like the truffles and the hazelnuts. And I think that's it. So I've cut down every tree I can cut down in Stardew Valley. I think. Um, hopefully I'll be able to sell a lot of this food too. I'm, like, I'm not going to be doing anything else with it. So hopefully I can sell it. Okay, so let me drop off the acorns. And then we're going to head over to Ginger Island. And we're going to cut down everything. Are there even any trees by the Pirate Cove? I'm kind of wasting time because I really don't... There really isn't much I can do right now without having a pickaxe. Uh, no, there's no trees there. I don't think, anyways. Let me double check. No, okay. So, where are there trees? I mean, there's mahogany around. Um, are there trees over here? There's a fiddlehead fern, though. All right, so let's go. Let's go to the dig site first. Why not? Oh, we got an artifact spot or a panic spot. Can I reach that panic spot? Oh yeah, I can. Luck ring, luck ring, luck ring. No luck ring. I'm telling you, I do. I have just. When it comes to getting luck rings, I've been unlucky. Of course, these trees haven't grown yet. I don't have my pickaxe to break these rocks. I'll take the geodes, though. Okay. Um, farm? Yeah, there's not too many other places I can even... Oh, whoops! I missed some, missed, missed some spots there. Go back to the dig site. I'll just take a screenshot. There might be might be some trees down by the desert trade or the island trader. Um, let's have a look. So, survey says, look at that lovely vista. Beautiful. Uh, no trees that are fully grown. Isn't that that is so pretty. This game is so pretty. Look at that. Like, look at the look at the design on this. That's not what I wanted to do. You get the idea. All right, back to the farm. 5.50 p.m. So this is going to tell me... Um, hopefully, anyways, it will tell me when the starfruit's going to be done. Because it should be, like, according to my calculations, it should be done tomorrow. It's not going to be done tomorrow. That's not right. I thought... I thought... I have a note that says 21st. Oh, 21st is Skull Cavern Run. Right. That's what it was. All right, well, let's pan this spot. See what I get. Iron ore. I'll take it. Now let's sell some stuff, though. We don't need to have everything, all the stuff on me. Sell that. So the fiddlehead, bananas, things called bone fragments, tar tubers. That is good put my hat back on okay let's see if uh let me take a screenshot so i'm not wandering places i don't need to wander because i probably cut this all these trees down pretty recently too uh oh no we do have none of those but we do have a few trees on the other side there all right i'll take them the more the merrier oh triple shot must remember when i get back to the stardew valley I have uh, some kegs in the basement that have coffee beans in it. That need to not have coffee beans in it. That needs to have starfruit wine. So I must remember to do that.
I want the hardwood as well. Is there hardwood up here right now? No, there's not. Okay. And I cannot be bothered to deal with those slimes. All right, so that was good. Let's head back to the farm. Um, let's deal with the stuff in the basement. Oh, let's grab these truffles too, actually. Or this truffle. Yoink. Yoink. Basically, there's no point in me getting any more... Um, Oak, or kind of, there's kind of no point in me getting more oak resin until uh, I can talk tomorrow. You look like you're ready for bed, Paul. Should I lull you to sleep with technical details of my latest project? To be honest, I'm kind of sleepy too. It's only 8 p.m. tomorrow. Got work to do. Uh, all right, let's. Uh, at some point, I'm gonna have to decide what to do with all these Omni geodes I have. So it's more Skull Cavern run, right? So there's no point in me... I was going to take the Omnis to the desert. There's no point in me doing that. Uh, let's go up to the mine and... Um, let's... Uh, get some more stuff smelting. Been holding off on smelting... Uh, iron and copper. I feel like I can smelt some of this gold. I don't think else I can sell it, so... Great. It's all looking pretty good. So I am going to go to the desert tomorrow. Um, I might just smelt some copper to get my copper up. I can only make about 20 kegs. Uh, 20, a little over 20 kegs right now. 23 almost. Um, so we'll see how much oak resin I get tomorrow. Oh, right. I forgot. I keep forgetting about that. Let's go do that real quick. Got those kegs in the basement that have coffee in them. I have a diamond on me, so that's good. We're going to give that diamond to Maru. Keep one diamond. Um, we're going to head into the basement. Grab this cob. Oh, I'm going to take some starfruit down there with me. Some starfruit with me down there. Any regular quality? we got six, so we'll start taking, oops, start taking some silver quality starfruit. This is great. Make sure we burn through all of the low quality star fruit before we use any high quality. Oh crap! Didn't want to do that. I wanted to leave that spot there for casks. Whoops. Okay, we'll deal with that tomorrow. Hopefully. Hopefully, I get enough wine finishing tomorrow that I won't have to worry about that. I will put these other two kegs or casks, kegs, down. I'm just not sure where exactly. Uh, normally, I would do horizontal rows, so maybe I'll just throw them up here or something. Okay. 10 p.m. Oh, the mead's done. Grab those. Um, put those away. Let's go sell some stuff. Oh, I can put some more stuff in the preserve jars. Let's do that. Oh, I could give Maru a strawberry. She loves strawberries, doesn't she? She does love strawberries. Well, I'm going to save that diamond. I can sell that. Okay, let's throw in maybe like those two and a cauliflower or something. I don't know. Uh, I tried for two years of the perfect runs, but after a solid week of eating prunes, I had to give up. Funny story from my week last week, speaking of food. Um, so I've been, so we, I mentioned a while ago that we purchased a bathroom scale. And uh, so I've been weighing myself, not even the chuckle. Um, no, I got it. I got it. Uh, so I have been weighing myself on Wednesdays, Wednesday morning, right when I get out of bed. I weigh myself, and we have a fancy bathroom scale that talks about, like, you know, what your um, body fat percentage and muscle, blah, 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 all sorts of different stats based on, you know, how fast electricity courses through your veins. Um, 
so, so I weighed myself last Wednesday, and I had lost weight, which is good. But it turns out that in the last week, all I've really been doing is eating a lot of um, food and not exercising <laughs> for various reasons. But I didn't exercise at all in the last week. So basically, yes, I lost weight, but I actually gained fat. Like I was actually fatter than I was because I purely lost muscle from not exercising. <laughs> it was kind of embarrassing. I literally just did nothing. Wow, you know, from last Wednesday to the Wednesday before, um, or whatever it was, I did nothing but just like eat too much and not exercise, and ended up uh, losing muscle and like t to the point of it actually reg registering on the scale um, how much muscle I had lost. So yeah, that basically what it comes down to is I'm be I'm trying to be better this week. This week I'm trying to behave myself. I'm exercise, getting back into my exercise routine. And, uh, trying to not overeat. Um, which is really kind of depressing, because I really like eating. But, um, yeah, that's that's the story. I lost weight, but it was just purely muscle, and I actually ended up being fatter than I was before. It's quite sad. Okay, so the plan for the next day, we're going to, uh, let's go to bed. I was like, what the heck? Oh, yeah, Mars there. That's what it is. No, 10,000. That's nice. Okay, so here's the plan for today. Today's supposed to be Skull Cavern Day because there's a Pepper Rex level on level 7. My Iridium Pickaxe is ready. Need that. Should be able to get that from uh, Neutral Luck. Okay, I'll take it. Queen of Sauce. Crab Cakes. I can make crab cakes. Um... Can I make crab? Oh, I can make crab cakes. Nice. Crab cakes come off my list. Beautiful. Uh, so yes, yeah, so the plan for today, we got to grab our pickaxe, give Maru a strawberry. Um, we got whoa, casks. Mm. <laughs> I do want to do a skull cavern run because I want to um, take advantage of the pepper rex as being on level seven. However, um, is that enough? That's going to be enough, right? However, um, I'm not going to get there for a while, so we'll see what happens. Um, anyway, oh, Black, oh, sorry, Blackbird, I didn't realize that was... I didn't even say hi to you because I thought that Arctic Wolf had said that joke about the prunes. Uh, how are you doing, Blackbird Jam? Scales are such a cruel mistress, hard to cheat on and... They out you without hesitation or remorse. They know you'll always take them back to matter level trepidation. Ugh, too real, too real. How you doing, Blackberry Jam? Sorry, I didn't, I didn't even notice. I was what, well, clearly not looking at the usernames of who was typing what in chat. Uh, all right, 23. I don't know why I'm walking places and not doing the things I need to be doing before I walk places. Yeah, I do, because I'm just, just easily distracted. All right. these guys. I don't know if this is actually worth doing, but I, I guess it kind of is, because with the amount of time there's left in the game, yeah, this is worth doing. All right, here's what we're going to do. Like so, put a bunch of stuff in there. No problems, all is well. My grapes are ripening up nicely. Should get about 45 pounds. Nice, that's awesome. That is fantastic. I have no idea if I'm doing this right. I have absolutely no clue. Just not in the slightest clue. If I'm doing this right. Uh, so I want to do like bang bang. So, so I need to need one more space, I think. I feel like. Because I want to do. Or am I doing horrors? I'm doing horizontal lines. So it probably doesn't matter? I don't know. What am I even doing here? I don't even I have, I have no idea what's going on. No clue what's going on. So I'm gonna do this, and then we're gonna do it here and here. So I need to have this space so I, so basically everything up to here. 
I can put a cask in. Whoops, I have screwed that up because I still haven't put anything in those casks. Goodness. Heavens to Betsy. All right. Uh, not bad for something I only get. I only have to put in two days of effort scattered over the course of a year. I mean, hey, sounds great to me. No low effort, high reward. I mean, why not, right? This is so inefficient. This is just taking me way too long. That's okay. I won't get through it. One more column. There we go. Four, five. Great. So that stuff's going to sit there until the end of the run. Uh, what's up, Logan? How you doing? All right. Let's go and see what we can make some more cakes. Tomorrow, make sure we say hi to her. Um, and give her a gift. There we go. How's my friendship with Maru? My friendship, I and mean, we're married. Um, this game sucks, but in a good way. I do enjoy me some Stardew Valley, I'm not gonna lie. Saltel. All right, we've got crab cakes I'm probably never gonna use. They can just sit in there. What did I just sell? If I didn't sell the starfruit wine, what the heck did I just sell? Hopefully nothing important. All right, let's grab the... Um, Whatever oak resin we can. Turn to collect mod statuses. Got three already. Or mod statues. Collect mod statues? Like statues that are in mods? Oh, statuses. Why did I think that says... Apparently I'm dyslexic as well. Except I thought I was in statues. Um... Oh, I see. You're trying to collect... Oh, sorry. I thought we were talking about something in Stardew Valley. I'm like, what are we talking about? Sorry. Well, good for you. I'm glad. Hopefully, it's all going well for it. If I needed a mod. <laughs> the thing about mods is that you only need to have a mod if you have people in your chat. I typically don't. Um, I actually have, like... One day, I just, I just went mod crazy and modded nearly everybody in my chat. It was a whole thing. Um, so yeah, I actually have like a massive team of mods. And like, I mean, people have lives, right? Like barely anybody ever shows up, which is completely fair. Um, that looks good there. And I'm just gonna put some here. It's probably a bad idea, but whatever, that's just what we're gonna do. Let's get these kegs filled up. And these three. There we go. Uh, all right. So hopefully if everything goes well, I'll plant another couple dozen vines in the spring. I have three now. Wow. So three vines give you 45 pounds. Of, wow. Um, try to get a few hundred pounds for not a lot more effort. I mean, why not? Like three vines give you... Wow. How big are the vines? I don't know why you don't legit have the... I don't know why you don't. You legit have the voice of presenter. But well, thank you very much. I have a few ideas, but I'll save them for myself. Okay, uh, let's quickly check the... I don't need to check the greenhouse, do I? I don't think I do. I'm going to leave that truffle behind. I need to make moves here. It's already 11 o'clock. All right, so we're going to go see Clint. We're going to... Um, grab my... thing. I'm going to drop some inventory off, though. And the ore I'm going to leave up at the mines. I will go to the mines first. Quick check in here, make sure nothing else I want to take with me. We'll take a warp totem to, to the desert. So I'm going to leave the axe behind. Yeah, that should be good. Three vines usually yields more than 45 pounds, but this spring was weird, so it didn't, one didn't bear fruit. So two vines got you for it. So what I'm hearing you say is that two vines got you 45 pounds. Uh, yeah, we're hoping to also plant the rest of the orchard this fall, and a couple of years should be rolling in the fruits and nuts. That's awesome, dude. That is fantastic. Boop. Thank you, Clint. All right, let's go to the mine. We'll just throw some whatever in the furnaces. Some... Whatever. Uh, you know, I'm going to throw the gold in. The gold takes longer. Let's just throw some gold in. 
Of course, now I have gold bars on me because I'm an idiot, so let's just leave them here. I don't really need them. Okay. You should plant an avocado tree. There's a 1 in 10,000 chance you get a new tasty type of avocado. So you're telling me there's a chance. Alright, so I'm going to keep a warp totem on me just to be safe. Alright, let's gear up here. Let's gear up. Let's do this. Uh, I'm going to trade these jades. Do I have any rubies to trade in? Yes. Oh, and more jades. Okay. Let's trade these guys in. Some of those. Some of those. Great. Avocados aren't true to seed. All the ones you buy from the store are all clones. I mean, it makes sense, right? You're trying to maximize your uh, stuff. Okay, so the question is, do I want speed or luck? I think I want speed, because part of what I'm doing here is killing baddies, so I don't really want luck for that. Or do I? I don't know. I will burn an inventory spot, taking it with me. Um, okay, so... Two spicy eels should be lots. Let's grab, so I have a warped totem to go home. Let's grab some food. Oil of garlic. Mushrooms, radish salad, rhubarb pie, fruit salad, mushroom, 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 mushroom. Okay. Probably a massive waste, but that's all right. So we're trying to get to level seven. There should be pepperexes on level seven. Fingers crossed. Um. I wanted to do bees this year, but couldn't get my act or hives together spring as well. Mostly didn't have the time to put up the electric fence around the hives, but the one acre wildflower field where the hives will go that were planted two years ago to really take it whole and spectacular. I can imagine that would look incredible. The flavor of the fruit depends on the parents, so it's entirely random. Yeah, fair enough. Seven fifty for an acre of wildflower seed. Crazy. Huh. Is that crazy good or crazy bad? Seven fifty for an acre? I mean, I don't know anything about seeds. I have no idea. Apples are the same way, which is why there are so many crabapple trees in the U.S. People planting apple seeds expecting tasty apples. We had a crabapple tree in our backyard, the place we used to live. Oh boy, was that thing big. All right. So I've had my spicy eel. I've had my triple shot espresso. I've got my new fancy pickaxe. That's in the wrong spot, so I was hitting the wrong button there. Expensive. I could have done it all in clover for 150. Fair enough. I am a fan of the clover, though. I'm not gonna lie. I am a clover fan. I actually, before we moved, I was thinking about some um, doing our entire lawn in clover. Um, just because it's easier to maintain, and it's just, yeah. We had a lot of, like, cats and stuff running around in our neighborhood because pe people don't contain their cats. So, what have my I kept the lawn looking a bit nicer. And of course, better for bees and things. I'll have some clover flowers and stuff. So yeah, I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of clover over grass, let's say that. I want a ladder. Um, bananas are sad. There are only one type of banana and since they're all the clones of one seed's wife all out. Um, also that scam artist or entrepreneur, Johnny Appleseed. <laughs> <Not a problem. laughs> All right, where is, there's the ladder. Where are we at? Level three. I should probably be checking for, uh... ooh, not taking the drop shaft because I need, I need to hit level seven. I'm trying, if at all possible, to finish that monster hunting quest, the uh, Pepper Rexes. Oh, we got a serpent. I need a whole bunch of those yet. Whoops, I got hit. Not worried about getting hit. I have got so much food on me right now. Come get me, come at me, come at me, bro. Serpent, bro. Bro, serpent. There we go. Lovely. Got genie shoes. What? Hey, if you get lucky and breed a new apple avocado banana, then you become rich. Are you sure you become rich? Are you sure? Big uh, apple, big apple, big banana, or a big avocado isn't going to try and 
thwart you, thwart your attempts at, uh... You can, you can still, you can sell to them? Oh, I guess that'd be fair, yeah. Wow, I'm getting so many drop shafts, it's just killing me on the inside to not be taking them right now. But you literally, with a drop shaft, you... You can't drop less than three levels. Like, it's gonna be at least three, which means I pass the level I wanna hit. There we go. Oh crap, I should've gone to get that coal. Oh well. Too late. Alright. Whoops. Inventory is already full, so let's eat. Um, so that purple mushroom is 125. Let's eat that one. Did you hear that song about the geologist who fell down the mine shaft? I'm waiting for the punchline. There. A flat miner. There we go. Got him. Sweet. And we got a ladder. Let's get out of here. All right. So now, I mean, I'm here. Um, whoops. Wow. Plus one defense, plus six immunity. Nah. All right, so. Oh, I should've eaten the mushrooms. I'll do it right now. All right. So I was thinking, um, speaking of music, I was thinking earlier about um, back when, I, back many, many years ago, I used to always record a song around Christmas time. Just like not an original, it'd be a cover of some, some you know, hymn or some carol or whatever. Uh, and I was thinking, last year I did that as well. It had been a while, so I thought last year, yeah, I'm going to record a Christmas song, so I'll do that. So I was thinking now, hey, what am I going to do for this year? And I have an idea. I used to be able to play on piano a, um, a rendition of Jesu Bambino. And uh, haven't played it in years probably 10 or 11 years or something. But I thought, oh, whatever, how hard could it be? I mean, I used to be able to play it decently well. Maybe um, the muscle memory will kick in. Tried playing it earlier today. Turns out muscle memory does not kick in. So, so I might, I, we'll have to see. I might do that as my Christmas song this year. I was thinking ooh, it could be rather humorous for me to do that and accompany myself. Um, hey, rabbit's foot. Accompany myself on the um, on the piano while I play it on the slide whistle or something, because I'm a I have I'm a child and think that's hilarious. So stay tuned. This year's Christmas song could be a whole thing. Um, new type of also a new type of the fruits wouldn't necessarily compete with current types. It'd be a different flavor. Yeah, eat the mushrooms. It's probably already mushroom season in Kamloops. Um. Yeah, I couldn't tell you. It's been so smoky lately. Yesterday was the first day in probably a month or so that uh, it was not ridiculously smoky out. So last night we went out and got outside for a bit. But, uh, but yeah, it's been like looking outside every day. It's just been so smoky every day. So it was great to have a have one cleared. It got smoky again overnight, and today it was a bit more smoky, but it was nice to have a, uh, have a clear day. I won't, I won't complain about that. Um, can I eat anything here? Use, what's, what's the worst thing for me to eat? Oh, I got this mushroom again. Let's eat that. You know, I always bring so much food thinking I'm going to be burning through food like crazy and then I don't burn through food like crazy and it makes me sad. Uh, okay, so you know what I'm going to do real quick? Let me just check my Monster Hunter goals. Let's look at the checkup. And let's reload it. So we did finish the Pepper Rexes. I only needed seven. Need lots of mummies. 
and lots of serpents. Everything else I'm not too worried about, I don't think. Um, hence why your scale called you. Oh, heavens. That scale, though. It's kind of cool. Like, it's cool that it, like... It gives me the information I want, because honestly, I'm not that much... I'm not that worried about my weight, to be honest with you. Like, I don't really... I'm not really that worried about my weight anymore. Because I'm not as young as I used to be, so obviously my, my body is just going to be different. And I've learned to live with that fact. Um, but I am interested in my body fat percentage. Because that's what I'm more worried about. It's not so much what I weigh, it's how out of shape I am. So... So yeah, it's cool that it shows me that, and then I can actually track over time, like, hey, is my, how's my body fat doing? Is it going up? Is it going down? Am I exercising enough? Am I, am I burning enough calories? Probably not. You're in good company. If I was two inches taller, I would be burning. <laughs> uh, it's funny. If I was two inches taller, I'd be perfectly round. I mean, hey, round is a shape. Am I in shape? Yeah, I'm in shape. Round is a shape. I'm in such bad shape right now, it's pretty embarrassing. I mean, I'm computer geek, right? Like, I... I work on the computer for my job. And then when I'm done working on the computer for my job, I work on the computer for my hobbies. So it's like... T tuna, tuna cash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's I, I find that humorous. <laughs> the shape of a tuna can. Good lord, that is. <laughs> oh my word, my word. That is quite the. That is quite the visual. Oh my goodness. Alright, <clears throat> we got mummies. My goal is to be Pringles can shaped. I used to be Pringles can shaped. It's actually pretty incredible how, like, looking back at pictures of myself from. I was probably, and to be honest with you, I, I, I had, like, my prime was late in, ter like, in terms of overall fitness and stuff. I probably hit my prime in my, like, late 20s, early 30s, like. Did you get a chance to try Philip Trooper? I have not had a chance to try Philip Trooper yet. I don't think it's, I don't know if it's readily available in Kamloops. Um, not that I've looked, because I don't leave the house much. But, um, I still have their website bookmarked. Uh, all right, I need, what do I need? Oh, my triple shot's still good. My spicy eel is not. But I've got so much other food, and it's 8.50 p.m. Oh, whatever, let's just eat it. Um. All right, let's do some, some bomba. Bomb that. Drop shaft, that's what I want. Ooh, iridium, unless it's a crab, which I still need to get. Nope, it's uh, iridium. Diamond, thank you. And we got a ladder, that's excellent. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I should I should look and see if if it's sold in uh, in Kamloops somewhere, and I can check it out. Oh, we got ourselves a ladder. Got some coal. Got a serpent. Oh, we got some iridium. Let me grab that. Guess I'll well grab what I can. Oh, that's a crab. A bunch of those still. Yeah, we got some crab cakes. Mummies. Shot just ran out. 
that's worth having having one of those. So I mean, if nothing else, and it looks like it will be nothing else, uh, we did finish the Pepper Rex Monster Hunter goal, so that's good. That is, oh, I'm just gonna take the ladder. Um, yeah, that's that's useful to me. This is also a uh, crab. We're getting real close. This, these Monster Hunter goals is our concern. I really need uh, to get these things done. All these little things that I kept telling myself, like, oh, that's no big deal. It's not going to be difficult to do. It's now, but I'm getting to the end of the run now, i got to get them done. So... Deal with all that. Oh, there's some... Is that Iridium? What is that? Yes, it is. Gonna call it Night Have Fun Busting Rocks. Thank you very much. I'll do that. Have a good night, Blackberry Jam. Thanks for stopping in. Good luck with the grape harvest. Crystal shoes. What? Plus three defense, plus five immunity. Nah. There's so many different, like, shoes and things I've never even seen before. It's crazy. Alright, what can I sell? I brought two. I gotta stop bringing so much food with me when I do this. I really need to stop bringing so much food. 11.20. I should probably head back. The area's infested. Ugh. I'll just ladder out, actually. I, wanna, I don't want to quit just yet. Ooh, good thing. Got some mummies. Ooh, and more serpents. This is awesome, actually. This would be great. That's exactly what I need. Mummies and serpents. Bring it on. Yeah, that's okay. Time to eat something. That'll do. Midnight. Any more? Oh, there's some meridian. We'll grab that. Need these serpents to quit yelling at me and just hurry up and get over here. The more of these guys I kill, the better. Sweet. There we go. Yes, we'll grab this emerald too. Why not? Man, we'll grab the amethyst. Oh, my inventory's full. Um, I don't know. Let's sell that and maybe. So, no, note to self, I did not use any ginger ale. Oh, actually, you know, I'm... Hmm. Uh, I think I might leave now, because I do want to stop at the chest on the way back. Although, I do want to get that serpent, though. I'm going to cut it close. And there's some iridium. Got him. Okay, let's just go. 1 a.m. Let's get out of here. Oh, yeah, we're going to drop some stuff off in the chest. And we'll head back to the farm, deal with some inventory. We're good to go. And we'll be all good. So that can all stay. That can stay. All this food stuff can stay. That can stay. The rabbit's foot. I'll have to see if it's worth selling. Or if I should save it for a gift. I'm not entirely sure about that. Okay, um, that's, that's all stay stuff. Anything else that can stay? Don't need that because I'm tempted to take the bus. Mm, I think we're good. I might just sell these crab cakes right now, actually. Because when am I ever going to want... I've got, what, 30, 37 spicy eel? Like... Although... Hmm... I might leave them, actually, because the crab cakes would be good if I was doing a monster hunting run. Because they give you plus, plus one defense as well. I don't want luck for that, so maybe we'll keep them here. Uh, okay, I think we're good. Let's see if we have time to get to the mine, throw some stuff in to smelt. And then, yeah. Let's see, let's see if we can get to the mine, throw some stuff in to... I should have brought a farm totem. I should have brought a farm totem. I will go to the mine, put some stuff in... To, oh, there's a tree. Put some stuff in to smelt. And then we'll head back to the farm. We'll see if we have time to do that. 
I do have double speed right now. For a little while longer. I'm not entirely sure how much longer, but oh, I got lots of time. All right, let's throw in that. And then I guess some more gold just for. Just why not? Okay, let's go here now. Uh, now I'm going to grab those. Um, all that stays on me, I think. Hopefully. Looks pretty good. Back to the bus stop. Let's see if we can get back to the shipping bin. Oh, with double speed? We're laughing. Okay, so the question is, I mean, the emerald we're going to sell. Um, rabbit's foot. Do I want to sell the rabbit's foot or do I want to keep it? Actually, it's probably something right here I can look at. Rabbit's foot. Sells for five sixty-five. I'll hang on to it for now because Kent does love him love him a rabbit's foot. So I'll hang on to it for now. Um put those in there. So we got 21 iridium bars, that's not too bad. And the diamond we'll keep for Maru for tomorrow. Let me just throw that in there, grab my steel axe. Um All looks pretty good, I think. Oh, I need to grab bars and wood and things, though. Grab those three. And, I mean, I could make a little bit of tree fertilizer, I guess I may as well. See if we can get a couple more trees finished uh, before winter. Take that to the train station. We've got another one of those. Got one of those. Let's throw one of these guys in there. We got some more wine done, but it's only that many. I'm not going to worry about it. And I'm going to call it good. Alright, we did watch the TV. We got crab cakes today, so we're good. Okay. We made 23 grand that day. That's not too bad. Oh, okay, so 7 star fruit wine. Fair enough. Alright, let's figure out what the plan is for next time. We're going to day 22 of fall. Uh, anything I need to... Any notes I have here? No. So, fall, oops. Fall 22. What are we doing in Fall 22? I mean, it's just the same old stuff, right? It's just kegs for days. Oh, wow. Um, does this mean the quarry kegs are going to be done? I wonder. Neutral luck. So I've got to make sure we talk to Maru and, you know, whatever. Give her a gift and stuff. Um, I'm just going to head over to the quarry real quick. I'm also, let me just check for um, oak resin as well. What do we have on the farm for oak resin? We've got one, two, three, got four oak resin on the farm. More might finish, you know, throughout the day, but at the moment we got four. Um, it feels weird walking at normal speed. And this is running speed too, like this This is walking speed. It feels weird even like not, not having like extra speed. Quarry. Yes, okay, so we got, so I'm going to make a note of that, uh, that the quarry wine is done, so we can get another batch of wine. This is actually going to be really good, because it's going to tell us um, exactly what we, um, it's going to give us an idea of how much we're going to make per week, basically. Um, with that, so the quarry wine is done, I mean, kegs, obviously. Uh, Ginger Island Starfruit isn't done for a couple of days. I think that's pretty much all we're doing. Um, it's neutral luck, so... Uh, let's check the checkup. Let's do a checkup check. Monster hunting. Five rock crabs, three void spirit. I mean, I could bang that out, like, easy. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll see if I can get the rock crabs and the void spirits. Um, so three rock crab, or three void spirits, five rock crabs. Need three void spirits and five rock crabs. I'll see if I can bang those out real quick. Uh, because I'm pretty sure, and it's not best luck or anything either, so I'm pretty sure if I go to like level, say, 85 or I guess 80 since that's what I hit. I mean, there's void spirits right here. So I just have to find some rock crabs, basically. Um, and then we're just doing kegs. 
yeah, there's not really. So yeah, just make sure we keep gifting Maru and you know talk to Maru and stuff. Uh, gift and chat up Maru. Um, quarry wine is quarry wine is done. We need to make some more kegs. I mean that's the last thing, probably. And, uh, no, because the rock crabs is going to be a bit of a thing, I think, so. I'm tempted to put the mine, I'm tempted to put the mines back to normal. I don't know if it's worth it. Because, I mean, really, I can get, I mean, I have a full month. It takes seven days to get one oak resin. I have nearly a month yet. Even making regular tappers, I would get three more oak resin per tapper at this point. So, yeah, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't um, put the mine back to normal. Because if I do get some radioactive ore, why not? And I have an iridium pickaxe now. So, yeah, maybe I'll leave it. So, yeah, the plan for next time, gift Maru. Refill all the kegs. Try and bang out some uh, monster hunters and partridge in a pear tree.